it's us. Um, I think after six months of picking up the camera every single day, I have a compulsion to continue doing that. So I don't know if this vlog will ever actually see the light of day. Mm. Um, because it's not hiking related, but we'll see. So it is the day after we finished the trail. Mm -hmm. We made it to Bangor. We have just picked up our rental car. And I think I'm feeling very overwhelmed. The airport, it's, not, it's a tiny airport, but it just feels so chaotic to me. There's a lot of people. Yeah, and it's just like really hitting me now that like we are done mm -hmm. with trail. Um, so yeah, the next thing for us, we are gonna be making our way down the East Coast. We're doing a little mini road trip from Bangor to DC. Um, and first stop is Acadia National Park. So we're not quite out of uh, the wilderness, the woods just yet. So yeah, we just really planned this trip on a, we knew we were always going to road trip, mm -hmm. but in terms of what we were going to do, um, it was very spontaneously planned last night and this morning. Um, so yeah, we decided we're going to head to Acadia. Then after that, we're just going to make our way down the East Coast and um, we'll see what we get up to. We will be back in D.C. on Wednesday or Thursday. So yes. We're going to go look at the ocean instead after spending six months of looking at the at mountains. But it's like the forest next to the ocean. Yeah, so it's like we're easing ourselves into, yeah. <laughs> out of the mountains yeah. and forest into the rest of the world. You excited for the next adventure? Yeah. All right. Let's I'm get going. Looking forward to our little road trip. It's yeah. Fun. Nice way to decompress rather than. I felt bad. To be fair, I did feel bad for some people that were saying, "I'm going from here, then I'm hopping on a flight, then I'm going back home, and then my job starts in a few weeks." Like it's like, uh, that's too. It is very too soon. jarring. I even I feel like we finished yesterday. You know, we went to sleep, got up this morning, got the bus, and I just feel like we very much have been thrown back into like, okay go back out there and it's I'm the just and I'm just sitting here like now what like mm. I don't know what to do I don't know where to go I don't yeah so yeah we're gonna enjoy this road trip decompress a little spend some more time together because we haven't been doing that enough yeah. and um yeah we'll see if I ever post this um <laughs> oh yeah catch you later bye, bye.
if you remember my very first vlog on the way to trail, this is a throwback to that <laughs> because in that vlog we slept in a Cracker Barrel parking lot somewhere in Tennessee on the way to Springer Mountain and now we are sleeping in a Cracker Barrel parking lot in Portland, Maine <laughs> um, on the way back from Katahdin. So, fingers crossed that uh, we get a good night's sleep in the car. Uh, I was just saying to Tribute, it's funny how I feel safer sleeping in the woods than I do in a car. And it's also so annoying because there's like, the lights are so bright. Yeah. And... I mean, there are darker spots over there, but it's like right in the middle. Yeah. It's could, fine. Could over there. Nah, it's all right. Um... It'll be fine. It might just be a little uncomfy, but we'll make do. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a very busy day. I can't believe we started today I'm very tired. in Millinocket <laughs> at a diner. I thought it was a completely different day when I was, like, remembering back. Um, yeah. So. Well, we had a thing earlier where, like, why, why aren't all these people at work? It's like, it's a Saturday. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a Friday. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think the transition is already jarring. I feel very overwhelmed. I think it's one thing to be on a zero day and relax in a town and then know that you get to go back out on trail. But now I think the reality is starting to set in for me that I, I'm in a town and will be in towns and getting to go back to that calm trail experience isn't gonna happen. Um, so I do feel quite overwhelmed at the moment, mm -hmm. but yeah, that is going to be an interesting part of the transition. So yeah, it's like 9 PM. It's way past our bedtime. We're going to go mm -hmm. to sleep. It's past hike and midnight. Yeah. And then tomorrow we have a bunch more plans. So we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>
Good morning. So yesterday we had a fun day exploring Portland, leaving Maine, leaving Massachusetts, um, and we arrived in Salem, and we had a pretty fun day just wandering around. Um, I've always wanted to go there, so it was pretty cool to be able to do that. Um, last night we tried a few places to sleep. We were going to sleep at a Walmart parking lot, but then they had signs saying no overnight parking. So then we moved to the parking lot of a Home Depot, and then I got really paranoid because there was like a towing truck. I think it was unrelated. I think it just happened to be there helping somebody else out. Um, but then there was like a towing truck and like a sweeping thing. Um, so we actually stayed there for like an hour and then we bailed and we drove to a Cracker Barrel. Thank you to Cracker Barrel, always very reliable. Um, so I actually got a decent night's sleep last night. Um, and now we woke up this morning and we have driven into the center of Boston. So that's where we are. So we're gonna explore Boston for a bit. We actually have a hotel room booked for tonight. Um, so very excited about that. Um, but first, because it's so early in the morning, it's only like 9 o'clock, so we're just going to wander around, see what we can see in town, and then probably try to check in later, maybe take a nap. Um, yeah, and just uh, tributes I've ever been to Boston before. Say hi. No, I have never. <laughs> I'm hoping it's a wicked. Episode. Yeah, so... Well, we'll see. And I've only been to Boston once for one day, many, many years ago. So, yeah, let's get exploring. Sweet. 
bet you'll never guess where I am. Um, I'm on trail, actually. So, we left Boston yesterday, and we did a good chunk of driving. Um, basically, Tribute and I have always talked about when we finished trail, we really wanted to do some trail magic, just as a way to give back, and, you know, it just felt like a nice, fun thing to do. So, when we left Boston yesterday, we were aiming for Hamburg, Pennsylvania, and if you remember from the vlogs, we actually took a zero here in Hamburg. Um, I think it was June, June 10th, we figured out. Um, ooh. So, we knew they had a Cracker Barrel, because we actually ate there. It was right next to the hotel. And so we decided that would be a good place to aim for. Because um, Port Clinton, which is what the trail, the little town that the trail goes through, is just down the road. So that's what we did. We arrived in Hamburg last night. And then got it this morning. Went to the Walmart. Picked up a few things. And parked up at one of the trailheads just outside Port Clinton. Clint I don't know why I said that so weird. Just outside Port Clinton. Um, and yeah, I mean, we didn't know if anybody was going to show up. We were nervous that nobody was going to show up. And we had bought all this stuff. Um, but yeah, luckily we had two people come in in the morning. I think we'd set up about 8 o'clock. And they came not too far after. Um, and then we had three people show up after afterwards around 10 or so um, they took lots of snacks with them and then I stayed behind at the trailhead with all the food and Tribute actually shuttled them into Hamburg so they could do a resupply I think they're currently um, out for lunch in town and he'll be going to pick them up shortly so they could come back to trail so yeah it's just it's just really nice to to be able to reconnect. Actually, three of the people, the group of three um, that we'd met, two of them we actually met at Hiker's Welcome way back, just before we did Mount Musilok. So it was kind of cool to, to be able to reconnect with people that we already met down the trail. Um, and yeah, so even if no one else turns up, I'm, I'm quite pleased with, with that turnout. <laughs> I told Tribute, if we could just give Trail Magic to one person, I would be happy. Um, but yeah, I decided to walk a little bit down the trail, just because, you know, I miss it. And uh, I really feel like I need to get my exercise in, keep consistent. I am thinking more and more about um, just fitness and diet after trail. Because I'm honestly in the best shape probably that I've ever been in. Um, and not that looks are important, but health is important. And I want to make sure that I'm still eating well. I'm still looking after my body. The hiker hunger is still very real. I'm just... Oh, these past few days I've been so hungry everywhere we've went. Um, and I'm really trying to cut back on soda now. Um not eat as much you know on trail I was always or I was hungry a lot of times but I either didn't have enough food um, to satiate every feeling of hunger or you were just so busy walking um, so I had to learn how to how to live with that so I'm trying to tell myself that now as well like I don't have to constantly feel full but with that said tribute and I are doing one last little hurrah of feasting before we, uh, you know, tighten up our diets. We're actually going to America's largest buffet. It is an Amish buffet, maybe an hour or two from here. It's in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, so we're going to be going there after we leave here. So I think at the moment it's around 12. Um, we were planning to be here for another two hours. Um, and then we will make our way to the buffet. 
And then after that, we will make our way to my parents' house where I don't know what we're going to do next. <laughs> um, we're not returning to the UK imminently. So I think we're going to hang around for a while. We both have jobs to apply to. So, but yeah. Um, so that's, that's what we've been up to lately. Um, I think once you... Once you're involved with the trail and the community, it's kind of hard to to cut yourself off from that. So we are a prime example. You know, we just finished a few days ago and here we are doing trail magic. And hopefully, I'm really hoping that we can actually go to Harper's Ferry and do some more trail magic in the next coming weeks. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. I will catch you later then um, from wherever we are, maybe the buffet. All right, bye. So it is, what day is it, Thursday, September 5th. We got to my parents' house yesterday um, in the evening, we drove back from the buffet and yeah, haven't been up to much today. So the reason we had to rush back, basically, not rush back, but we had to be back by today is because Tribute's parents are actually coming to visit, so that's very exciting. So they're getting in to DC tonight and they will be here for about a week and a half. So we've got lots of things planned. So today was mostly focused on, I've just been trying to organize all my stuff. Um, we sent a lot of stuff back home whilst we were on trail. Um, just a lot of random clothes and things. So I've been trying to open all the packages, deal with that. But yeah, thank you for following us along on our little post-trail road trip. I think I found that I'm not really sure how the transition is going to be back to normal life. Um, we went to some very beautiful spots, um, very crowded spots, and I did find at times that I was quite overwhelmed just with the amount of people and noise and again that whole thing of knowing that I'm not going to go back on trail so knowing that this is more of a permanent um, experience um, and yeah even coming back here I still feel very overwhelmed I honestly forgot about a lot of the stuff that I own and that's just the stuff that I brought with me to my parents house there's all the stuff that's in our apartment back in the UK so I feel very overwhelmed, like even my clothes, I'm looking around and I'm like, I don't remember owning half of these things. And it's very jarring going from having like two outfits that you wear for six months and now having all this choice in clothes. And I almost feel like I just want to wear the same outfit um, every single day because it's just a lot easier that way. 
So I think there's a lot of things that my brain is going to have to adjust to post-trail um, and just trying to ease myself back into a very simple life. I don't think I appreciated it as much on trail, just the simplicity of getting up in the morning, packing my stuff, walking, um, and that's, it was very routine. And now everything's kind of up in the air, especially because we don't have jobs. Um, we both need to start looking for jobs. So it's going to be an interesting transition. Um, I'm still going to have to be very mindful of how much money I'm spending and, you know, the things that we do. And so we'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'm not trying to set myself up for a certain expectation but I have heard that it's been difficult for people post-trail. I'm also trying to be more mindful of my health going forward um, in terms of my mental health, my physical health, thinking about my diet. Yeah, going to the grocery store was a little bit overwhelming too because I was so used to always buying the same things and now I can buy whatever I want, but I also can't eat whatever I want. Like I have to be if I want to maintain the figure that I have now, I have to be mindful of, I can't eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's in one sitting anymore. Um, it's going to be an interesting transition and I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, but we'll see. Um, I think I've said this in comments before, but I think I very much do plan on continuing this channel. Hiking is a big part of my life before trail, during trail, and now after trail. Um, so I would still like to continue to document maybe day hikes that we do, um, weekend trips that we might take. Um, so I'm not sure how long we're planning on being in the U.S. Um, yeah, I guess it all depends on job stuff and personal preferences, but I think while we're here, I would like to get a few more little camping trips, hiking trips in, maybe just weekend things. Um, and then obviously when we're back in the UK, we always go hiking a lot. Um, so it'll be cool to do videos on that as well. Um, so I don't think I'm going anywhere now. Um, I also have a lot of post-trail um, thoughts that I'd like to share, thank yous that I'd like to share. Um, so I would like to continue making videos. Um, so yeah, if there's anything that you would like for me to make, um, feel free to pop a comment down below. I think I'd also like to do another q and I obviously did the one at the halfway point, but yeah, if you have any questions for me um, about the entire experience, if there's anything else, you'd like to know post-trail um, that I didn't answer in my previous Q&A, also feel free to pop a question down below and I can make a video on that later. But yeah, overall, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, If thank you for continuing to watch, um, and I hope I can make some interesting stuff for you going forward. And I think now that I have access to a computer again, I'm hoping my editing will get even better. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, for now I need to keep tidying, um, keep getting things ready for Tribute's parents, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.